from comicbook.com. I am here with the director of Batman the Killing Joke, Sam Liu. Sam, uh, when they came to you and said, okay, this is it, we're doing it, we're doing Killing Joke, uh, were you in... Were you in that first developmental meeting, or was that something they came to you and said, we want you to direct this? Uh, it, was, it was more of the latter, uh, actually, yeah, because, um, like, especially uh, at Warner Brothers, I feel like, um, you know, the directors of these were almost like studio directors. We are, um, you know, we usually have... Rota- like the old school studio. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, where we're sort of like, they're rotating, directing crews and stuff like that. And um, so I remember when... Uh, it was on the table the first time, uh, but then you know for other reasons, whatever it you know got shelved and stuff like that. So when it came up again this time, I was just like, you know, oh, I'm I'm actually landing this one, and I wonder if it's actually going to go this time. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess it was the the right time and the right climate to release an R-rated uh, animated movie. Was that something as soon as you came into the project that you knew it was going to be an R-rated film? Um. You know, I think we we weren't even thinking about that at the beginning, you know, because uh, I remember Bruce and I, even after we had sort of, uh, you know, built it in animatic form and storyboard form, and um, we we're looking at it, we we're just like, you know what, um, this might get a, a PG-13 because it's not, you know, extra gratuitous or, I mean, the psychological stuff is, but I, I think the R, you know, again, comes from a sort of, uh, a certain amount of, like, responsibility you know um, because it is really dark and it is really screwed responsibility R is for responsibility kids (laughs) (laughs) you you have handled uh, you know as a studio you guys have handled some darker Batman content before especially with you know Dark Knight Returns even Red Hood had some pretty dark scenes Uh, what kind of what aspects of Batman that are new that you get to explore in this uh, whether it's because of the R rating or just because of the the uh, nature of, of the content? Um, you know, I think it's the nature of the content, you know I mean? Because anytime you have sort of like psychological torture, you know, I think that starts going into this, you know, um, I don't know, this this questionable area, you know? Right. And so um, I think it has more to do with, with that than actually because... You know, we've had many films where, you know, people are getting shot and there's blood and there's things that I thought, oh, we're going to get an R rating for that, but we don't, you know. But for some reason, I think um, violence is not, you know, just violence for violence sake is, is not, um, there's a certain desensitization, I think, that has happened right. where, like, that is not as shocking anymore. But for some, but for some reason, like, you know, sex and, like, um, again, psychological torture, that's, that's still kind of in this touchy ground. So obviously the Batman Batgirl relationship that was implied a little bit in the comics, you're showing more overtly here. Uh, what does that do? What what does that add to the story? What does that add to Batman's motivation as he's going after the Joker once he has injured Batgirl the way he did? Yeah, I, you know I don't I don't want to spoil it too much, um, but you know I think a lot of that is is in the you know, this prologue, and in the prologue again we wanted to um, you know give give Batgirl her due, like, you know, who is she, uh, what is she like when she's basically in her element, when she's in her prime, um, and sort of, you know, a, a, a parallel that leads into maybe where Batman's state of mind is at, you know, at the beginning of the killing joke. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for much more about Killing Joke on comicbook.com.